Good day everyone, Mr. Pertama is here and today we are going to talk about fundamental particles. Have you watched the video that I've given to you in the previous link? Yes, on the video, you see that the Large Hadron Collider or LHC is very, very wide. Okay, it is spanned with the circumference of 27 kilometers. Yeah, only to find the particles of God. Yeah, okay, so one of the primary goals in modern physics is actually to answer what is the universe made of? Yeah, often that question reduces to what is matter and what holds it together? In this question, human being trying to find a technology that will lead us to the answer. One of it is the Large Hadron Collider in CERN Europe. In physics, we have one special branch to talk about the particles, which is the modern physics. The modern physics speaks of fundamental building the blocks of nature. The fundamental means that the particles is simple and structureless. It means cannot be divided into more simple particles. Many of the particles we have discussed so far appear simple in their properties. For example, all electrons have the exact same characteristic. The mass, the same, the charge is the same. So we call an electron as fundamental because they are all non-unique. This study of particles is also a story of advanced technology of this modern physics. More than 200 subatomic particles have been discovered so far. All detected in sophisticated particles, accelerators, or what we call just now her as LHC, Large Hadron Collider. However, most are not fundamental. Most are composed of other simple particles. For example, yeah, Rutherford showed that the atoms was composed of a nucleus and orbiting and orbiting uh, uh, electrons. <clears throat> Later, physics above shows that the nucleus was composed of neutrons and also protons. More recent work has shown that protons and neutrons are composed of quarks. The two fundamental particles in nature are hadrons and leptons. Hadrons consists of protons and also neutrons. These hadrons are the particles that is affected by the strong nuclear force. What is the strong nuclear force actually? You know that protons, yeah, the positive charge and another proton's positive charge will repel each other. But why these protons can gather in the nucleus of an atom? So these Protons can gather in the nucleus of, of an atom because there is the strong nucleus, nuclear force that holds them together. Okay, so again, the hadrons consist of protons and also neutrons, yeah, which are affected by the strong nuclear force. And one more is leptons. Leptons, for example, is the electrons. The electrons is not affected by the strong nuclear force. Furthermore, in 1964, Maurice found that these hadrons actually only made up of a few different particles, what we call a quark. There are three kinds of quarks, up quarks, down quarks, and also strange quarks. So we can say also that the two most fundamental types of particles are the quarks and the leptons. The quarks and leptons are divided into six flavors corresponding the three generations of matters. Quarks and also later the anti-quarks have electric charges in units of one of the three charge or two of the three of the electron charge. Okay, while leptons have the charge in units of one or zero. Normally, 
the everyday matter is of the first generations. So we can concentrate our investigations to up and down quark only. The quarks will combine to form the basic building blocks of matters. Yeah? There are two kinds uh, of these combinations, the variants and also masses. The variants are the combinations of quarks that make up of three quarks, while the masses is the combinations of quarks that make up of only two quarks. Now, so the variants that made of three quarks will form protons and also neutrons in the nucleus of an atom. Okay, while the masses made only a pair of quarks or two quarks only are usually found in cosmic rays. Okay, now as you can see, the protons is made up of one down quark and two up quarks or we can call it UUD okay and then the neutron is made up of two down quark and one up quark or UDD now this both of protons and these neutrons here yeah, the charge after we add uh, the U plus U plus D or the U plus D plus D yeah it will mix one or zero. One is for the proton, which is that is the charge of protons plus one, and zero is for the neutrons. Yeah. Now, for the masses, the particles that make of two quarks, usually we call it pion. Okay. Now, it is uh, made of the up quark and one down and pi quark. So, the charge of a pion is plus one. Now, so what beams these quarks together? The up quark, the up quark, and also the down quark in proton, yeah? The up with another up quark also, yeah. okay. Now, the things, the force that holds this up quark and down quarks together, we call it as gluon. Okay guys, I hope you do understand about what is inside an atom based on the modern physics theory. Okay, before we close our lessons today, yeah, let's check your comprehension by doing the questions in the Google Forms below this video. Thank you and see you!